Kilo Ren Helmet Foam Build Index With this guide and templates, you can build your Kilo Ren Helmet with EVA Foam. Remember to validate the printing scale with a ruler. That's why I recommend first printing the first page, validating and then printing the rest. I also recommend always using Adobe Acrobat Reader for printing, and not other PDF applications. Head Center Remember that you have letters or numbers in which part, you have to join with the other. For this part, we will use 8mm thickness. Remember to draw the union lines. To draw, I use this marker brand, also you can get the 790 or 792 depending on the thickness of the tip. We will cut this part to be able to draw the lines on the foam. You can use paints to better fix the mold. This is the cutting diagram. To cut, we will use sharp blades to achieve a clean cut. 
We will cut this side with the cut down. The rest of the sides we will cut straight. To get better cuts I'm cutting blades levels. To give a circular shape, I will use a metal cup, but you can use any element. To apply the glue, we can use a plastic container that we will fill. I will use a funnel to place the glue. We will always use protection and we dump the necessary glue, and wait for it to enter. We clean to be able to close well. Once the glue dries, we can join, with my contact cement it only takes a few seconds to dry. We will also have prepared paper tape to fix the joints. In curved or difficult joints, it is convenient to prevent the joints from opening. Always join on a flat base to avoid height differences. Always use the union lines to guide us. After a while we remove the tape.
we will give more circular shape to the whole piece together. Curve especially near the edges. Head sides. We will only use this model For this piece, we will use 8mm foam thickness Remember to make the union lines Now we will invert the mold, indicating the union lines behind. In order to see the lines on the other side, I will use this permanent marker. We will cut all sides straight. We will give circular shape to the pieces. The areas to give circular shape are indicated in the guide. The parts of guide numbers, to know with which other part we have to join it. We will join the head sides with the head center. To allow the lines to be marked, we will put a 1mm or 2mm paper tape on both edges of union. The same on the other side. Once dried we will remove the tape.
To then be able to join the face move down, we will put some supports. We will use 8mm foam thickness. Back bottom. For this part we will use 8mm thickness. We will cut this part so we can draw it on the foam. We will invert the mold to be able to draw from the other end. To simulate a thinner foam, we will make a parallel line 5 mm away from the contour. We will cut with a cut looking down on the outer line. Now we will cut the inner line straight. so we make all the edges look thinner. The remaining side will be cut as indicated by the guide. Only the central part will be done with the cut up, the rest straight. You can indicate approximately from where we will do in 45, and where not. First at 90 degrees, straight. Then we will incline to 45. 
and again straight. Optionally you can improve the edges with an sandpaper. We will cut very superficially on the line and with the diagonal cut. We will join the head with the back bottom. We will always join from the center to the ends using the union lines. This union can also use the technique of paper tape to mark the line. Or you can superficially cut the joint with cutter to emphasize it. Remember that this helmet is sloppy and worn so it can be imperfect. Face For this part we will use 8 mm thickness.
We will cut the mold to be able to draw it on the foam. To draw this detail, you can invert the mold. Now we will cut the lines to also draw them. We will cut the final lines.
This is the diagram of how to cut. We will cut these curves with the cut down. We cut these sides with the cut up. The rest of the sides will be cut straight. These sides also straight. We will give a circular shape to this area. You can also give this area a circular shape. We will glue the face on the supports that we have added in the head. On these sides, we will also do as before with paper tape. We will not put in the area where it begins to go down. the same on the other side. Now on the side of the face. Where are the supports just put glue onto them, not above. We remove the paper tape.
Remember to join this corner leaving 4 mm or 5 mm down. Just in the first line of union, we will put the same level. Remember to put glue just here. I put this paper here to avoid gluing that side. eyes. For this part we will use 8 mm foam thickness. We will cut the inner line to draw it.
We will cut this side, straight. This side with the cut facing up. This side also straight. We will join the eyes with the head. We will always join the center, and then the rest. Always following the union lines. To avoid unwanted joints, we can put a paper in the area. To continue the other side, we will remove the paper. upper muzzle we will cut the internal details to be able to draw them on the foam
For this part we will use 5mm foam thickness, you can use 4mm instead. With a tube or the back of a marker, you can make the holes. I got some of different sizes, an old antenna has several measures to make holes. First on one side. Now on the other side. We will cut joining both circles above and below. With an sandpaper you can improve the edges. We will cut all sides straight. In this line we will make a very superficial cut. Back muzzle. We will cut the internal details to be able to draw them on the foam. For this part we will use 3mm foam thickness, you can use 4mm instead.
We will cut the mold to be able to draw the internal parts. We will cut all sides, straight. For the curved end, you can use the tube again. We will cut all sides straight. We draw to get an idea of where not to put glue. To glue behind we will use 2 millimeters, but you can use 3 millimeters or 4 millimeters instead. You can sand the edges. Now we will give the whole piece a circular shape. Rolling the ends.
to better fix the shape you can give heat from behind. It is always better to bend more than necessary. We will also bend the top of the muzzle. We will glue the upper muzzle on the back muzzle. Always join both parts having given the circular shape. Prior to glue the muzzle on the face, it is necessary to shape it. We will fold down where the central semicircle ends. We can use paper tape to fix more that fold we need. The idea of giving this shape is to make the upper part as flat as possible. We will indicate from behind to know how far to put glue. We will not put glue up, only up to this level. Only up to this line will we put glue.
this central part to make it more flat, and that does not rise we will fix it with tape. We will indicate the level where we will put glue. The level to set the visor is correct. Accessories There are two accessories that go on the bottom of the helmet. We will use 3 mm foam for this accessory. We will cut the internal lines to draw them on the foam. To make the base more rigid, I will join it with a rubber, but you can use 3mm or 4mm foam. We will cut all sides, straight. The guide indicates where to glue both accessories. We will cut the mold to draw on the foam. We will mark behind to know where to put the glue.
to glue this piece we will indicate where to put the glue, at the height of where the accessory lines end. Where it left glue we will put more. The same on the other side. For this accessory we will use 5mm foam thickness, and then add the rubber behind. You can also use 8mm foam thickness without the rubber. We will cut to draw. We will cut straight. The location is where the lines of the first accessory end, the other begins. We will indicate behind to know where to put the glue. We will put this accessory where the lines of the other accessory end. Sealing the foam Before sealing the foam with heat, 
Be careful not to burn it especially these thin, low thickness areas. I'll start inside and then outside. We will take advantage of the hot foam to shape in certain areas. Now from the outside. We will also push the lower part of the eyes even further. making damage we will make the imperfections that the helmet has i will try to replicate the same damages of the original i will use the steel wool wire to make some defects We will do something smaller around here. With a stick, paper tape and steel wool that I place on the tip, we will do more. To emphasize the center of damage. Also on this side we will make some small cuts, always very superficial, like a horizontal cross. It will always be emphasized with heat, so always superficial cuts. Also on this side we will make one above. On the same side another near the corner. Here another in this trap. You can use the non-cut part of the cutter to mark without cutting. We will make here a mark with sinking. For this area we will do some damage. We will also do damage near the union. On the other side we will make the same mark with sinking. Over here another cut.
more over here. You can also do some perforations, only superficial. We will make these marks using the soldering iron. The same on the other side. Fixing joint. With a sandpaper we will match this joint. With this plastic cream we will cover the union, that we want not to be seen. When it starts to dry we can unify with water. Base painting. We will give a coat with a plastic paint like Placy Dip. We will avoid painting where we will glue the silver lines. I will also leave the muzzle unpainted. To give a better finish we will pass a roller over the brush strokes. Silver lines. I will cut with cutter but you can do it with scissors.
Now the other side. I leave a continuation of the lines to be able to join better in the center. For the silver lines I will use 2 mm foam thickness. At the bottom we will glue behind another part of 2 mm foam. We will only do it up to that height.
To make the foam more resistant and make it brighter, I will give you some varnish coats. Once the varnish dried well, I will paint with a silver acrylic paint. I will varnish again but with airbrush. Once dried again we can cut. On the back to make the change between 2 mm and 4 mm progressive we will cut diagonally. Always being careful not to cut the line. We will paint the edges with the same paint. To achieve more shine we can polish with the kitchen paper. gluing silver lines.
Initially we will only glue this part. We will use the drawing we made in the helmet as a guide. Now on the other side. We will cut the excess of the center, to be able to join both sides. We will also cut the excess from the other side. We will continue to glue the rest of the lines.
to prevent the lines from gluing in places we don't want, you can use paper. The last line. Face perforations. We will use a tube or any other perforator element. Do the same with all the indicated holes. You can improve the holes with a soldering iron. Painting details. We will paint between the lines that we could not before. Be careful not to paint the silver.